So I just got in the mail this little lovely package. This is, I do believe, the uh, Cyberforce uh, Omnibus, which was uh, through Kickstarter. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up and take a look. I'm real excited about this. I always thought the idea behind Cyberforce was a great concept. Mutants with cyborg enhancements to make their uh, mutant powers more formidable. The idea always seemed great to me. I think that it sort of languished a bit once the concept got going for a while. We got a little layer of bubble wrap there. Oh, and this is kind of nice. It's very well protected. It's nice to see. You box, you get out of here. Down there too. So that is a nice level of quality control. I'm totally forgetting what came with this as far as the add-ons are concerned. So I'm going to be pleasantly surprised, I'm sure. So there's the main volume itself. In bubble wrap. And fully wrapped in seal. That's nice. Cool. And then what do I got here? I got it looks like... Oh, this is cool, man. I dig this. It looks like what I got here is... Uh, like a, it's either a sticker or a um, a coaster. But either way, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a coaster. Right on a little Rip Claw Cyber Force poster. We got some stickers. I loves me some stickers. I like putting my stickers on comic boxes to indicate what's inside of them. To indicate, <laughs> to indicate what's inside of them. So, uh, you know, on the blank white side. I'll put uh, a Cyber Force uh, sticker or something like that that says what's in here is indie stuff and probably some Cyber Force. And we got a little uh, trading card style thingamahoo-hoo. Oh, that's right. That's a uh, basic image of the first cover there. Jeez, I'm trying to find my camera here. There we go. And then we got a uh, bookmark. I loves me. My bookmarks. We got a postcard. Look at that. Send this one to your loved ones to tell them you're doing fine and whatnot. Then we got, uh, what do they call these? A book plate? A boiler plate? Or something like that? Yes, you know, drawn by McFarlane. Look at that. It's McFarlane drawing. Look at that. McFarlane contributing to the Mark Silvestri stuff. So, let's get into the Cyberforce book. There we go. Cyberforce. So I had it upside down and backwards and checked me out. <laughs> okay, let's open you up and hope we don't destroy you in the process. Oh, that opened up nice and easy. I like that. I like that. Now, I believe this is supposed to collect the first 25 issues or something. I'm not even sure. It's been so long since the Kickstarter. I can't even remember what's in the volume. So there we go. We've already seen that, but now there's no glare. From the uh, the wrap. Now I'm gonna do the old uh, check out the cover without the dust jacket. The dust jacket's nice, it's made of a nice material. It's a little bit more uh, uh, treated than usual uh, dust jacket material. It feels just nicer, a little a little bit more uh, durable than where I'm used to. And then there's the actual cover itself one side and then on the back so it says it covers cyber force number zero ten men of war one through four cyber instinct crossover the wildcats number five through seven volume two number one through thirteen origins number one cyberblade number two striker and cyber force annual number one so that's a good batch of stuff and you can see here from the back it will be available for retail at some point as well with a cover price of $49.99 US. Okay, so let's ease up that spine. Oh, look at that. There's a little signed thing in the front. I guess this is what you won't get when you buy it from stores. It's a little sticker thing there, signed by Silvestri. That's pretty sexy. I'm trying to find the camera and I'm doing a horrible job. You wouldn't know I was in film for most of my adult life. So I'm going to stretch out the spine here a little bit. Now, first glance, taking a look, I can see already that it looks like this was um, uh, photo reproduced, which is interesting. I would figure it all be digital. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just the quality of the uh, the uh, digital files from back in the day weren't quite what they are now. But I gotta say, it's looking pretty good. The paper is nice. Very nice glossy paper. And uh, what are we looking at here? Oh man, look at that. I'm seeing an abject lack of gutter loss. Always my favorite thing to see. No gutter loss makes Hartley Holmberg a happy boy. This is laying out nice and flat. Look at that. Actually, I may as well turn it so you guys can see it. I can Google at this all I want afterwards. But to me, oh, and there you go again. Zero gutter loss. That is beautiful. One of my favorite things to see in a good omnibus is whether or not it opens up immediately and lays flat. And look at that. I don't have to fight with this. Oh, and look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stitch bunny. You can see the stitch in there and zero gutter loss. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this one, man. And, uh, you know, this is really, the binding in this is already, I can tell it's magnificent because there isn't one crackling sound of the uh, of the glue. Every single page I turn to with a double page spread is perfect. Oh, my goodness. This looks great. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Cyberforce was beautifully written, but it was really well drawn. The characters are all really cool. I think the last run of Cyberforce was uh, really, really fun. But um, it didn't really do particularly well and sort of faded away. I've always felt they should just go back to the original characters and just get back to what made the series hot in the first place. Oh, and look at that. There's an ad in the back page for DC Infinite. That's a trip. <laughs> That's neat to see. What's up with that? Jim Lee got to Mark Silvestri. Here you go, the last pages with some uh, some nice uh, uh, cover and poster art. And I guess this is what tells you what's included. Overall, I gotta say, this is a nice, nice volume. If you were ever a fan of Cyberforce, you uh, owe it to yourself to get this. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. I don't know how much this is going to cost Canadian-wise, but uh, here you go. There's your look at Cyberforce. I think it looks utterly beautiful. Heatwave. Oh, one of the most poorly utilized characters in Image. Slicey. Uh, there you go. I don't really have much more to say other than this looks freaking great. And um, uh, if you like Cyberforce, when this becomes available, do yourself a favor. Go out there and get it. And if you don't like the fact that you didn't see my face but part of my body... Uh, sorry about that. This is just the choice I decided to make for filming today. We're suffering a bit of a heat wave here in Vancouver. This is day one. So uh, I didn't feel like hanging out reviewing comics with sweaty hands. Sweaty hands coming to you soon from Image and Dark Horse. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks, and see you next time.